Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wow. That's you. amazing. Really Happy amazing. Happy birthday, dear human rights ambassador. Happy birthday to you. Wow. I'm so impressed and touched. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much. 20 years of Dutch human rights ambassador position. Woo! <laughs> Do you like being the human rights ambassador and what's your favorite part? Yeah, human rights actually always have been a passion of mine uh, ever since I was a teenager. Um, um, I was always dreaming about a, a job dealing with human rights. Um, I, my, my job before I came to, back to the Netherlands was actually in Qatar. And there also I was dealing a lot with human rights, the human rights of women and girls and also the position of migrant workers. So. Um, um, I'm very happy and honored to be the seventh human rights ambassador. Six other human rights ambassadors were before me and I'm building on their, on their work. Um, there's so much going on in this world, you know, human rights are under tremendous pressure and also now with COVID, uh, the COVID pandemic even more, you know. So it's really necessary that we all are aware of our human rights and that we all contribute to human rights. And I have the great pleasure and honor to have a a job where I can deal all day and all night <laughs> with human rights. So yes, I'm, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy and honored and also meeting you and also I would like to learn more about your views concerning human rights. What, what, what are your dreams? What are your ambitions for this world? What, what, would you, what kind of world would you ideally like to live in? Um, well, of course, I'm, I'm really passionate about human rights and especially in my country, even though I was born here and I've lived here my whole life. Whenever I visit the Philippines, I really, it would be great to make a change there. And it would be, yeah, I really look up to many that fight for human rights in my country. I hope you'll be very successful. Thank you. Well, ideally, I would like to live in a world where everyone is treated equally, no matter their gender, age, uh, sexuality or race and that everyone has equal job opportunities and access to all the sources they need to become what they want to be which is something because I believe that many talents are lost in when they are not given the proper needs and support to follow their dreams. Beautiful, that's really well said. Thank you. What is a human rights activist and why do they need our support? Yeah. So uh, human rights activists, and sometimes also we call them human rights defenders, these are very courageous uh, people who work under very difficult circumstances. They defend, they protect the human rights of other people. They are working hard for positive change and they inspire many, many people. In certain circumstances they are threatened because in a way they are shaking the foundation of their society and that's what some autocratic regimes they don't like, you know. So sometimes they are threatened, sometimes they are beaten up, and at other times they're even killed. Why? Simply because they are protecting human rights. You know, for us, the, the, the Dutch government, uh, human rights is a top priority. And we strongly believe that we need to support civil society and human rights activists and make sure that they can do their work safely and effectively. So that's why we st are a strong supporter of their work and we try to facilitate their work and we also support many organizations and human rights defenders. We know you have fought a lot for gender equality and it's one of your top priorities. Has it been challenging fighting for gender equality in a world mostly ruled by men? Yeah. I think I'm, I would like to start by saying a lot of progress has been made to start on a positive note and that's thanks to the hard work of women and girls throughout the world but also the men and boys and their families supporting the women and girls so a lot a lot has changed if i compare it to the times of my mom you know a lot has changed even if i compare it to my youngest sister a lot has changed but now in these days we are seeing again that in some parts of the world including in europe for instance in hungary and poland you hear conservative voices regarding women's rights. Even the term gender equality, I mean, you would imagine in that in these times it would be a universally accepted term. They are now saying, well, actually, we would like to revisit this term. We look at it differently and they have more restricted views on women's rights and on gender equality. What I think is important to continue um, 
know, standing up for human rights, standing up for women's rights. Women's rights are human rights, but also to continue our work in a very eloquent and elegant way and show that women are capable to do anything. You're a perfect role model for young females like us. How can young students like us make our voices heard and make an impact? Yeah, that's, a, you know, this question of how young people like you can make your voices heard is something I was also thinking a lot when I was younger because, yeah, how do you do it? But honestly, you are making your voices heard. You're here. Yeah. You have, you know, come up with wonderful questions. You're sharing your views. That is how you can have your voices heard. So that, that's one thing to start with. And also from us, it requires that we open ourselves up and engage in an interactive dialogue. Because by, by speaking to people, you learn so much. By speaking to people, you bring the human rights to the people. And the people bring you know, their views, their experiences and concerns to us. So that's so important to have that two-way interaction together. We just want to thank you for this opportunity. It was an honor to meet you and we really appreciate everything that you're doing now. Thank you so much, but the honor was really mine. Uh, you, you really made my day and this was so special to celebrate together the 20th anniversary of the position of Dutch Human Rights Ambassador. And I'm also thinking of all the human rights ambassadors before me. I wish they could see this. I thank you so much and I wish you all the success. Continue having your voice heard and I hope to meet you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>